Good evening. Welcome to the East Bridgewater Select Board meeting for August 14th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will start off with open forum. <laughs> Somebody in here. We will now close open forum since we don't have anyone in attendance. Mr. Clerk, tonight's appointments. Now we have an appointment with the East Bridgewater Cinema. Okay. At 640. That is 640. We will start at 640. We cannot start a public hearing early. Why don't we go into action items, which we don't have any. Mm -hmm. How about uh, <clears throat> any announcements? No announcements. <clears throat> Town Administrator. No. Peter, do you have anything? I do say? have something, David. <laughs> we knew that. Yes, you did know that. So um, in some conversations this past uh, week with uh, our police chief, who I thought may try to attend tonight, um, you know, we would like to uh, start to engage in conversations about a police station. Um, the facilities that we have currently are less than good. <laughs> I don't really know how to put it. I mean, it's, you know, the... Uh, most deplorable. Deplorable would be good, yeah. I mean, moving from what Maple Ave back in the day, that's almost like a lateral move right. at this point. So uh, I did talk to Mike, and um, I said I'd bring it up this evening, uh, get uh, David's uh, thoughts as well. But I think if you know we, we put on mic to maybe get a, a group of small group of individuals, four or five individuals together, start looking at you know processes. I know they talked in the past about the potential of redoing the fire station, like sort of like they do in Situate and West Bridgewater and things like that. So, I mean, I I just wanted to publicly state that I think it's 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 necessary. I think it's a good move. It's a starting point, anyways, and uh, you know to give them the opportunity to start to. And figure out what can be done and where it can be done. I think it. Uh, I think it's important right now. Yeah, I agree, Peter. It has been brought up on many occasions before, and I think most towns these days, when they get into the situation, um, we've had the same request from the fire department before that. Hey, we need to do some up upgrades and stuff like that. So, again, we'll leave it up to the committee on how it will go forward. But yeah. I think it's something that. Maybe it's a safety building that we're looking to in the future that will encompass both police and fire like they do have in neighboring West Bridgewater and Situate and, and other places around the state. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I think it has to be limited to a very small group of people that understand the town to make up property available and stuff like that. And again, let them let them run their own thing and they can, we can give any direction they're looking for. And Charlie can give them any direction if he chooses. Like, well, which he probably will. Well, in fact, what's funny is one of my colleagues was just last week looking for examples of feasibility studies done for public safety or separate police and fire buildings. Okay. So I have like five or six, not that you know, I've read them or anything, I wasn't, prepared, but at least I can ship them to Mike and the committee and say, okay. here's a starter set of things people are, are looking at when they're doing this type of work. Yeah, right. I think we'd have to have, uh, you know, police chief and uh, the fire chief both. Yep. Get together, let them, you know, together put that committee together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and when I did talk to that. Mike, he did uh, mention that, you know, it was before Scott Allen had left, he was, you know, interested in, in helping in the pursuit as well. So right. maybe he finds someone there and then maybe a couple at large or one at large and then somebody from finance or something that can yeah. kind of keep an eye on what, uh, what the thought process behind right. it is. And, you know, the at large, you know, Talking about engineers that maybe have gone through something like this before, yeah. maybe some of the people that were on for the um, community center, senior yeah. community center in the high school, and so on. Yeah, no, I think it's, uh, you know, how these things go. It's right? a, it's I mean, beginning. It's, right, it's, and if you don't start right now, um, you know, you'll, you'll never get it get it going, that's right. for sure. So. Yeah, no, that's a good uh, thought. Yeah, Charlie, if you want to reach out to, to Mike, just let sure. him know that. I mean, I'm sure you've talked to Carol as well before, and just, you know, I'm sure she'll have the same sentiments if we can get that uh, group rolling, I think, uh, you know, we can exactly find, ex find out exactly what uh, what the process looks like and, more importantly, what they estimate the cost will look like, because I'm sure it's not cheap. No. You know, yeah, no I, and I think setting that committee up, um, n not with the numbers, but 
setting that symbol up to the APA committee. Um, you know, they can come back to the board to give us updates, but I really don't think the board should be, you know, appointed no, you know, right. to that committee. Yeah. Let, let them run their whole show and yeah. don't put any pressure on from people like you that, you know, <laughs> want to control things like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, and like I said, if there are some funds available, there has to be uh, something that has to be done just in, in, in that property itself as a feasibility or something. Maybe there's some, some money through that that app or somewhere that we can, right. we can dig some holes, like you said, to your right. point, you know. But okay. At least give them the push. I know there'll be, Mike and Mike and Mike especially would be very, very excited to hear that. We're and, and Tim will also. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, Dr. Tim. It was not that long ago I talked to Tim about it. So. Right, right. Great. Okay. David, I did, um, thinking about what had, transpired since last Monday, the state budget did get approved. Yes. We did get a series of earmarks, um, two for the library. I know the uh, radio um, equipment for the fire department um, was included. Also, EB Hope um, was one of six organizations right. that will share funding um, for prevention and remediation. Um, so our legislative delegation did a very good job of, even though individual earmarks may not have been in the House and or the Senate bills, getting them into the conference committee bills. So I wanted to thank them very much for all, them and their staff for all the work they did to ensure that happened. Yeah, they've, they've, they've followed a lot of the things, um, you know, that we've asked for over the years, and this is a good example of them following through to the end yep. to make sure, because there was a little hiccup there um, with a few of the things, but they, uh, they came back and they reacted mm -hmm. and, and got everything that we, we requested. Um, anything else? Nice centennial. What do you got? We got, <coughs> we got some stuff coming up. I want to uh, first of all thank the uh, East Bridgewater Y. They had a bicentennial family fun day last Saturday. They had, we believe, over 600 people um, came in, and uh, they kept on giving me figures up leading up to this thing. You know, we have 400 signed up, and 500 signed up, and 600 signed up, and they cut it off at 700 people signed up, and my question, you know, where the hell are you going to put all these people? <laughs> but they, uh, I, when I was thinking five, six, seven, I was thinking that many cars or vehicles, but no, you know, they come in threes and fours, stuff like that. There was never a parking problem. Uh, some did park across the street, but there was never really a big tie-up in the parking lot, but they had every activity you could think of there. Um, we were lucky enough also to have two, um, two of the Patriots cheerleaders there. And Pat Patriot was there, and they did a tremendous job with all the kids. They just spent the whole afternoon picture taking, um, stuff like that. So, uh, for the New England Patriots, we thank you for your support. In the uh, the next event that we have coming up, I believe, is the um, two things. We have a Scout Weekend coming up the 29th and 30th of September. Um, where the Scouts will be earning badges for various things they're doing. They're going to camp out at the community center overnight and then have something for the public on Saturday. And then that evening will be followed at the junior senior high school by some of the Brockton Symphony Orchestra will be coming in um, to put on a rendition of a lot of patriotic songs. And right after that, on uh, October 13th, I believe we'll be having a second trolley tour around the other side of East Bridgewater. And um, that is being played, I believe, on uh, cable. The yes. first one is, yeah. The first one is, and they had uh, about 40 people went down to the community center last week and saw a tape of it. Um, and, you know, we expect that, that their enthusiasm was so much that they're going to do that again down there and we'll play for that. So, uh, again, thank you for everyone that's been involved so far, and uh, we still have a few more things coming on after that. Yeah, I think you have. Softball game? In September? Or uh, oh, September 9th, we're, we're working on a, on a softball game. Yeah. Um, because we reschedule, we have some players that cannot be here on September 9th, but we think we'll have enough to have four teams available anyhow. Okay. Also, I think you have a um, panel or talk by two professors from BSU coming up. I don't know if he's finalized the date on that. I know it's in September. Mm -hmm. yep. it, might have been, it might be mm -hmm. September 23rd. Okay. Um, I don't know if uh, Dale finalized that mm -hmm. before he went on vacation. Great. That is it. All right. We are ready to move along. Mr. Clerk, if you could read the public hearing for this evening. I will. Uh, 
Public hearing for 640. Notice is hereby given the pursuant of the requirements of Mass General Law Chapter 138. A public hearing will be scheduled relative to the application for restaurant wine and malt license as follows. South Shore Cinemas, LLC, DBA, East Bridgewater Cinema, Red Hardy Manager, premises 225 Bedford Street. Five auditoriums all on one floor, seating 498 people total. Auditorium 1, 106 seats. Auditorium 2, 96 seats. Auditorium 3, 77 seats. Auditorium 4, 106 seats. Auditorium 5, 104 seats. General lobby at entrance. Three steps up to the audit five auditoriums. Second floor houses the projection room and storage supplies. No public entry on the second floor. Public hearing will be held at the Town Hall First Floor Conference Room, 175 Central Street, East Bridgewater, on Monday, August 17, 2023, at 6.40 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Folks, please come up and join us. If you could just give us your names, please, and then proceed to tell us about your request. Hi, my name is Brett Hardy. I'm here with my wife, Michelle the operators of South Shore Cinemas um, who take care of the cinemas here in town. And we're here tonight applying for a beer and wine license for the theater so that we can serve our adult patrons um, beer and wine as they watch and enjoy movies here in town. <coughs> How's Bobby treating you? It's been good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's starting to dwindle, but it's it was it's been a, a good summer. Good summer, yeah. yeah. Good, good. Uh, now, you have other theaters that you manage, Brett? Just one other now. We operate the Cameo in South Weymouth as well. Oh, oh what a great theater that is. Yeah, it's an old one. We like it a lot. It is, it's great. A lot of charm there. Yeah. Now, do they have a beer and wine up there? N not at, at uh, the current time, but we're also going to look into it for, for okay. Cameo as well. Okay. I know a lot of the theaters around, um, they all have the beer and wine. Some have full alcohol licenses. Correct. Um, and I think just to stay competitive with everyone else, I think this is probably a, an excellent move on your part. It's I'm exactly why, why we're doing it, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a good idea. Peter? Yeah, I mean, uh, knowing Brett for a long period of time, he did a, a tremendous job helping me with the uh, Skylar Fund uh, for many years, um, doing joint effort with the movie theater and, and uh, tickets for when we raised uh, money also for the um, we did some projects with the food bank as well as well as the class that the graduating class Skyla would have been in um, we had a movie day down there which was around about 2015 maybe somewhere right around Sounds there. right yeah, believe somewhere. it or not yes and I can't say enough about both Brent and his wife and, and I'm sure she had a big role as well uh, in helping us uh, do that so knowing knowing them and the type of people they are um, you know I have no issue with, uh, with uh, granting this application for the uh, wine and beer license for sure okay. I think they'll do uh, do great things and I'm very happy to hear that you guys are continuing there as well um, you know I know it was a a hell of a time after COVID. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. Yeah, we, we heard rumors to that effect. Mm. Yeah. We, yeah. All, we lost oh. our situate theater. Like we could oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we had yeah, to close it. Bad. So, yeah, it was tough, but yeah. we're happy we're still operating. We're, we're glad you're here, and we're Absolutely. glad you'll be here for a while. Thanks. I yeah. need the Board of Health agents in the audience. Do you have anything? Actually, a couple of questions. First of all, I'll let you know that they do very well in the inspection. Do you rejoice on that? With beer and wine, do you require certain food stuff to be served? Because they have a very limited menu from what I understand. As far as I know, a beer and wine is a beer and wine license. We don't attach anything to it as far as food or anything else. Nothing would change based on what they're serving today, based on a beer and wine license being added. And then also, I don't know if you know how it works, but um, our point of sale software that we use, yep. we will get a scanner. So, you know, the manager, someone over 18, if someone was buying alcohol, they have to scan it. And so it goes in the system and there is like a two drink limit. Okay. So great. 
you know, everyone, even if you are older, have we have to, they can't sell it without scanning it. So, mm. that, scan, license scan it? Yeah, okay. I've seen license, yes. yep. Oh, great. Yep. Right, and yeah, and so it's in the system that they've, you know, how many they've had. Yep. You know, so it's like a two limit for, yep. the, for the two hour. Okay. So I don't know if that helps alleviate oh, yeah. any concern. I would assume so, yeah. Now, if an individual goes up, would they be allowed to order two drinks for them at that point? Yes. Yeah, so it's just um, they two get per two individual. Per individual. I've always had this question. How do you know where the other one's going? I know that's what I was thinking. So I know they've done studies, you know, for movie theaters, and, you know, I, you know, I don't know. They, they said that there isn't a problem, like, okay. statewide, but I'm I don't sure know. I'm sure there isn't. I just, yeah. I'm inquisitive like that. So and yeah. usually, I mean, I'm thinking it would be at night to an R-rated movie, obviously, right. so there aren't kids going into R-rated movies. Right. Hopefully. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is sneaking in like yeah, we try not. To yeah, we, we anyway. yeah, we hope no one's sneaking in. No, that was back in the east side of Brockton. We did a lot of stuff. <laughs> Getting uh, those stories. Um, yeah, no, I, I think that, uh, I, and I've been at different venues where it's either one, either the person's got to be there or they they don't. I think it's you know, like you said though, I think with the limit uh, mm -hmm. that you're, that you're supplying, uh, I think you should be pretty safe. Yeah. You know? yeah. And the movie's in, what, two hours at mm -hmm. most length, I would right. assume? Usually, yeah. 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 Yep. And David, addressing your question from earlier about how it's going to be set up, right now, as you enter the lobby, the concession stand is directly in front of you. Right. We're, um, at first, we're, we're going to keep it just the way it is, but depending on the success of it and if people like it or not, we, may, we do have room to the right side. We have a, a utility closet with the ice right. machine and the video games over there. So if we find that we need more room because of this addition, we may add on to the right side of the concession a little, stand. Like, yeah, that's like a that's foot or two. When I was in there this morning, that's why I said they're probably both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once they get settled. Yeah. Okay. And then hopefully you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I, know. I hope. Well, yeah, we'll yeah. see if it helps. So. Right. Right. And no, no issues with Claudio or uh, his brother, um, the owners of the, uh, of the facility? As far as the liquor license yeah. goes, to be honest, I haven't spoken with them yeah. yet about it. So if, if we're granted the, the license, I will get in touch with them and just let them know that this is what our idea yeah. is. We've been approved, and I, I really don't anticipate them having No, no, I don't either. And we've done yeah. a lot with them. We did the, new, the, the source system. We, we worked in the Right, yep. and yeah. I tell you, they were more hopeful that you'd be continuing on over there than, than anyone else. Like yeah. Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a great relationship with them, yep. and uh, I think it's mutually beneficial, you know, yeah, just being there. So no doubt. now we just got to get someone in that restaurant, mm. and uh, mm -hmm. we, should be, uh, we should be rolling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. I thought you were taking it over. No, no, I'm not in that business. You kidding me? <laughs> just a thought. That's worse. It's almost now as bad as insurance. <laughs> you know, your servers are going to have to go through the certification process. That all the Pouring licensed establishments have tips program. Yeah. So is that um, something online that they do? The, you know, we do like serve safe. You, you, I believe it is. You can do the tips program online. I okay. Know, okay. Over the weekend. Okay. Like Forty dollars a person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. They would all have to be certified before they're allowed to pour anything. Okay. So just make sure that however many people you have, that they have that certification. Yeah, okay. I because we always have a manager on, and they're right. older, so it was just going to be the managers. Okay. So, okay. But you'll do you have that? Um, someone will be able to. You know, Lee and email? Rebecca can help you out on okay. that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll entertain a motion, Mister. Yeah, I'll make a motion to um, grant the application for the restaurant for wine and alcohol uh, beer. Excuse me for. Oh. Wine and malt license. Malt license, right. For South Shore Cinemas, LLC, DBA, East Bridgewater Cinema at 225 Bedford Street, East Bridgewater. <coughs> Thank you. I'll second that. Seeing no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, folks. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Something very much needed in town, I think, is to get more people into your establishment. I agree. Yeah, it would so be nice. It's a success. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, right, at the, right at the office here. Uh, and Brett, as always, you got my number if you get I something. I do. Yeah, let Thank me know. you very much. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thanks. Anything else? With that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn, Mr. Clerk. I'll second the motion. Ava, aye. Aye. See you in two or three weeks. I don't know when.